Hello, I'm Kevin Hunter, host of the Business Forum Show. During my lifetime, observing business leaders, interviewing amazing guests, and reporting on extraordinary business stories, only a small handful of businesses have ever accomplished a billion dollars in sales in six years or less. It wouldn't surprise you if I said these companies included Amazon, Google, YouTube, Facebook, and Apple. Even Microsoft, the multi-billion dollar company of today, was still sitting at $55 million after eight years in business. That's how big a deal it is to hit a billion dollars in sales in six years or less. So, when I got an invite to tour the newest company to join these elite ranks, you can imagine that I jumped at the chance, wouldn't you? The company is Jeunesse, which is French for youth. You might ask, one billion in sales in their sixth year? What makes Jeunesse so unique? Well, first of all, they're a product-based company, something totally unheard of for any business in this sector. Also, unlike any of the high-tech companies that I mentioned that exploded right in front of us, people like you and I have a chance to ride this explosive wave that Jeunesse is experiencing as their growth curve begins to rocket into the stratosphere. On my trip to Jeunesse, I visited with founders Randy Ray and Wendy Lewis. At the time of my trip, the company had already received 129 business awards. Imagine that. And including Woman of the Year for Wendy Lewis, the founder. Imagine the distinction of being the fastest growing DSA company on the Inc. 500. That's the Jeunesse we're talking about. I got the chance to sit down with Chief Visionary Officer Scott Lewis during our trip. Take a look. We are here at the world headquarters for Jeunesse Global, and Scott Lewis is my guest. And first of all, thanks, Scott, for doing this interview with us. And I wanted to ask you, because the launch of the organization on September 9th of 09, talk about the significance of that and why you chose that as your launch date. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, a lot of things had to happen behind the scenes really to make that date, that launch date happen. But Jeunesse, obviously, is a French word that means youth. We're focused on youth enhancement technologies as far as our product portfolio. And uh, we started this company with five Asians based out of Los Angeles, California. And uh, we we came to learn that the significance of number nine in Chinese culture Mm -hmm. is longevity. Just Mm -hmm. like eight is a very lucky lucky number in Chinese culture, so is the number nine because it signifies longevity. So we thought, what better way to launch a company focused on youth, everlasting youth, than the launch date of 09, 09, 09 at 9 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. Even 9 time. p.m. 9 p.m. Eastern awesome. Standard Time. And 9 seconds. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So I, I want to throw a couple companies at you and um, just kind of get your impression based on where Jeunesse is at. Because I've been interviewing businesses for many, many years, and there's very few companies that have accomplished what you've done. So I just went and did a little bit of research on companies that have hit the $1 billion mark and who did it the fastest. Here's just a couple uh, organizations. Amazon, four years. Google, five years. Facebook, six years. Apple, six years. Jeunesse, six years. Even beat eBay, who took seven years to do it. What's your thoughts on that? It's, um, it's humbling for sure. It's, um, it's surreal. But to, you know, to be honest, it, it happens because of a lot of different variables, a lot of mm-hmm. different factors. And as you look at the big picture, you know, so many of those variables coming together in perfect harmony has been behind our success story. You know, I think every single brand you just mentioned starts with innovation. You know, you want to be category creators, you want to be ahead of the curve. Uh, We've got a tremendous marketing and creative team that's out there, kind of a special team that focuses on innovative products, technologies, marketing systems, and we're always out there making sure that we're at the leading edge within the anti-aging, what we call youth enhancement space. Mm -hmm. We're Mm -hmm. able to take our top performing distributors and leaders in the company on amazing lifestyle and incentive trips all around the world. We had over 8,000 people on uh, four different cruise ships that's, this that's summer. That's incredible. 8,000 people on four Norwegian cruise ships cruising the Mediterranean this summer and over 3,500 people in Dubai. All of these experiences have built our culture of what we call Generation Young, mm-hmm. looking young, feeling great, living life to its fullest. And to bring people together with a common purpose, a common mission, with a unified focus is the power of network marketing. We've been able to do that on a global scale. Mm -hmm. There are several billion dollar brands out there. And when I mentioned that some of these other major players, people would say, well, Amazon and Google and Facebook aren't networking organizations. But if you think about Amway and Herbalife and Metaluga, Young Living and Avon and several that are in that, the fastest any one of them ever hit the billion dollar mark was two decades. Yeah. Okay. So it's really exceptional what Jeunesse has done, but the 
The observation that I've made between those companies that hit that billion dollar brand is there was four things they did exceptionally well. And I share this with our listening audience because when people are looking at a home-based business or networking kind of marketing, there are four really important evaluations to make of the organization. Number one is great leadership. And we've had a chance to experience that through, through your mother, Wendy, and, and uh, Randy, and, and yourself. Um, also is unique and high quality products. And if you reach a billion dollars, it kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it? Um, next was uh, targeting marketing. And there's two p- components to this is having a product or service that a really high percentage of the people want and need. And the last component, taking care of people. Full disclosure here, folks, we flew down here on your dime. And thank you very much, Scott, for, for inviting me here. We came down on uh, Genesis Dime, um, put us up in a fabulous hotel. Uh, I can see what you do to take care of your people. It's absolutely amazing. What I want you to comment on is what specifically you you chose as your target out of the gate, because you can't blow up in the way that you did without a really targeted market. Yeah, it's got to be laser focused as far as your target market. And obviously, as you evolve the company and the brand, you diversify product focus. I mean, for us, you know, 2009 when we launched the company, there were a lot of companies in the space in the network marketing industry Mm -hmm. that would have anti-aging product lines. But anti-aging is still very new when it comes to the world. It's really over just the past eight to 10 years that it's really become as popular and mainstream as it is today. Mm-hmm. And you know, 2008 or early 2009, when we were formulating our strategy. You know, we, we conceptualized becoming the world's leader in youth enhancement technologies and anti-aging solutions. Sure. And um, you know, it's been successful for us. For us, as we develop and and evolve that product portfolio that we offer, everything's got to fit tightly into our system. And to be a company that offers a turnkey solution to so many different niche markets, all in one youth enhancement system, but a tight system of only, you know, literally 15 to 20 products sure. allows simplicity when people are out there sharing the story, sharing their success story. Uh, we thought that there was something magical about that. And it's the power of duplication, being it, people being able to share their experiences from the product, but a tight system of products and how those products work synergistically as the world's leading youth enhancement system. And uh, certainly we believe that we've only just set the foundation to build upon. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to thank you for your time, Scott. It was a great pleasure coming here and meeting you and getting a chance to chat with you and appreciate you taking the time. I think you'd have to agree that we're witnessing the writing of a new chapter in business history and it's happening right in front of our eyes. Genesis' rapid rise to billion-dollar success isn't a mistake. Not only do they have a full product line that they describe as fully synergistic to supporting youth and health, but cornerstone products like Instantly Ageless and Luminous have already caught the attention of television shows like Rachel Ray when she had guests try the product on live TV and the show The Doctors soon followed suit, illustrating the rapid effects of Instantly Ageless. Now, I get that nobody gets to the billion-dollar mark that fast without an amazing product line. But I had to check this out for myself. I recently turned 50, and despite the fact that many people think I'm 10 to 15 years younger than I really am, I'm still interested to see what effect this product could have on my face. Check it out.
It's a little wonder that Jeunesse has accomplished what they have. One billion in sales in six years, 129 awards in business, and the fastest growing DSA company on the Inc. 500. Would you like to ride this wave? Either click the link for the Business Forum show below for additional information, or if someone referred you to this special broadcast, check back with them. It's likely they already know. After visiting with Jeunesse founders and touring the home office in Florida, I can say this much for anyone thinking about being a part of any DSA venture in today's market. It's easy to see where this company is going. Get on board. You'll either be glad you did, or in the future, you'll wish you had. I'm Kevin Hunter, host of the Business Forum Show. Thanks for listening. <music>